Hey everyone, in this video we are going to explore the Howard Tunnel, which is the oldest operating passenger railroad tunnel in the United States. Make sure to stay tuned and enjoy. looking at here is the south portal of the Howard Tunnel, which is the second oldest active railroad tunnel in the United States and is the oldest active passenger railroad tunnel in the United States. It's located here along the Heritage Rail Trail in York County, Pennsylvania, and these tracks here belong to the Northern Central Railroad. I'm currently here waiting for York number 17 to come up with a Howard Tunnel excursion. So that'll be super cool to see an actual steam engine traveling through this very historic tunnel. But I figured while I'm up here, might as well film a little video exploring this place. I know I haven't done an exploration video in a little while, but this seemed to be the perfect opportunity to do another one. So come along with me. Let's check this out. So I don't know if we can read this plaque. Yeah, I can read it. All right. It says Howard Tunnel 1840. So a little history on this tunnel. It... Uh, they began construction on it in the 1830s, and ultimately it was completed in 1840, as the plaque indicates. I read online that it technically opened in 1838, so between the years 1838 and 1840, trains have been traveling through this tunnel. Originally, it was a single-track tunnel, but I believe after the Civil War is when they decided that they were going to expand it to double-track. An interesting thing about the tunnel, as you're going to see, is that it is lined with bricks on the entire side of it. And I've never really seen a tunnel like this. And if you were wondering if this was legit, well, there's the plaque that says it, guys. Howard Tunnel has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. So, can't get much more legit than that. Now it's not a very long tunnel, I believe it is 275 feet in total, but it's still very cool to be able to walk through here. As you can see these days, I said it was initially double track a couple years into its life. They changed it now to be single track in the modern day. And Northern Central Railroad runs several passenger trips up here. Some with their steam engine, most often it's with their diesel. But either way, passengers come up here. I think they're allowed to disembark briefly, and then uh, the train will do some passes through the tunnel, and then they'll head back to the station. Another cool detail that you'll see if you're walking through this tunnel would be this thing. And what it basically is, is a place that you got to remember that at one point there were two tracks through here, and even with one track, there's not a lot of room on either side of the tracks for you to avoid like a train passing through. There's enough room, it's safe, but it's not as much as maybe some people would like. But you can imagine if there were two tracks in here, there would be almost no room, especially if there would be two trains passing through at once. So a lot of tunnels, including this one, built compartments like this so that let's say you happen to be working in this tunnel or you somehow found yourself in a tunnel when a train was coming through, you could jump up in there and wait for the train to pass and it would not hit you since it's, you know, in the wall and the cars would be passing outside here. But today it's uh, rather dark in there. I don't know that I would personally want to go in there, but very unique. And we'll continue on forward. That was about at the midpoint of the tunnel. Makes sense. If you're halfway through, you gotta have somewhere to jump into. And it's a very bright light on this other side. The phone's not doing the best job of filtering that out, so I apologize for the glare. But I wanted to show you the north face of the tunnel because that looks just as cool as the south face. All right, guys, check this out. Here we are on the north face of the Howard Tunnel. And we have another plaque up here. 
Let's see, what does it say? It says Howard Tunnel rebuilt in 19, oh, sorry, 1868. And that would make sense because that is after the American Civil War, which would be when they rebuilt this to have the double track. So 1868 is when this was rebuilt and it's mostly probably appeared in this form since that time. So one little note for you guys, if you want to come visit this tunnel or see 17 passing through it, the best way I can suggest doing it would be to park at the Brillard Station parking lot. It's about a little over two miles up this way. This is the way I walk down here to this tunnel. You can walk through the other side and then you can film uh, or just watch the train or just explore this tunnel in general. Uh, probably the closest parking area uh, to actually get here unless you would ride the train or have a bike to bike on the trail But if you're just walking that's where I would suggest going if you are interested in visiting this place yourself Which I very much encourage it because it was really cool to be able to see this in person Well guys, it wasn't exactly uh, the steam locomotive that we were looking for. Instead, 6076 decided to make an appearance, but man, was that still very awesome to see a train pass through the Howard Tunnel. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Let's stick around and watch 6076 head back towards New Freedom, and then that'll be it. Thanks again for watching though, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure.